when you hear his accent, you're gonna know exactly why <laughs> this freaking stud. <laughs> So excited, we're here at the Mecca. Gold's Gym, Venice Beach, the home of Arnie and all the other 70s awesome bodybuilders. And I'm here with one of the greatest cover models of all time, James Ellis. James has graced the cover of freaking every magazine ever. And I asked him to come in here doing me a favor because I want to help teach Riley, 15 year old yeah. Riley Palfy. <laughs> how to land his first fitness cover. So James, let's take us through a bit of a pump and let's just talk about, let's how, how do we get this kid in front of the lens more often? Come on, let's do it. Do it. Woo. Yeah. Right. I'm so impressed by that girl. Just it, all right. Uh-oh, Marcus, bringing out the hair. That's when you know it's serious, he took the hat off. While you analyze his chest, I'll talk about his hair. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spot the hair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, easy, easy, it. easy. Got it, got it, got it. So, breathing out as he presses Ooh. up. That's when a person would usually scream when you hear Ooh. people screaming in the gym. Should I grunt really loud? I think I should. If they're screaming at the right time, it's when they're actually flexing the muscle. So when he's, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. he's pushing up, Ooh. that's when he's flexing that chest. That's when he's taking that breath out. Ooh. Nice. Called exhale and the exertion. Come on. Nice. <laughs> Breathing right in the gym is key, folks. Nice. Now flex at the top. Nice. Tight chest. I'm so psyched that we've got my boy, James Ellis. James, can you give us some words of advice from someone who's been on so many bloody covers? What does this guy need to do? What does he need to know? Teach. Teach us. I taught him first thing first. He's already got the stance. And right before we started filming, he did the. Uh, <laughs> so that's key in the cover shoots, is it, you know, and then you move with the bicep, right? <laughs> yeah. What about out positioning? Uh, out positioning is really important. So go ahead, tell Riley. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, the Riley. cover when you're back there, right? Yeah, Riley. Yeah. You gotta fight for the cover, yeah, bro. Come on, man. You got no fight in you. I <laughs> uh, You know, I, uh, I was very fortunate myself getting into business, so had a way back in the day exercise for men only. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they called me in to shoot a workout. And I had no idea I was gonna be shooting for a cover. The reality of it is, I believe I brought a lot of my mentality, my attitude from the Midwest. It's a little bit different out here. A lot of people are really over the top in their head and they believe like they just think too much of themselves or too cocky. Whereas I go on a shoot and this is a word of advice to you. I know you're from Canada and all y'all are nice. So you shouldn't have any problems, right? Yeah. So uh, it's about being workable. So I cooperated. I had fun. I had a good ass smile on my face. I've been on shoots where I've watched people miserable. They have attitudes, they complain the whole yeah. time. You know, and I'm hungry, when do we get a break? You know, how, how, how much longer are we Those shoot? words don't come out of my mouth. I cooperate and I have a good time. I get to know the people. I, they, they like me because I'm real, I'm personable. So that's a huge key. If, if you can just be enjoyable on the shoot and cooperate, so true. they're gonna love you so much more. So when I shot for covers in the beginning, when I shot for magazines in the beginning, I didn't show up just to shoot for the magazine that one time. I showed up to shoot for the magazine the next time and hopefully the cover the next time. So they continued to bring me back because I had a good attitude. They loved working with me. They talked about it with their coworkers. The photographers would tell the magazines, I loved working with that guy. He had a good attitude. And two, just as importantly, show up in shape, right? <laughs> so walked around six to 8% body fat all year long. That's as bad as I would get. 8% was really bad for me but I would shoot at 4%. It didn't take a lot for me other than picking up the cardio and cutting the fat out of my diet. That's what made a big difference, so to make sure I was ready for the shoots. But what happened is the magazines came to know me as the guy that we can call him the day before or the day of. I've even been called in the day of on a shoot. Can you be here in a couple hours? We wanna shoot you for the cover. The guy that showed up wasn't in shape. So if you can be in shape all year round, it's all about being cover ready, being prepared with your body and with your attitude also huge key so not complaining having fun you know and that's yeah. 
that's the advice I have for you that you're probably honestly not going to get from any other business model. Come with a good attitude, and you, I already can tell you have a good attitude, so uh, I think you're going to do very well. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you problem, for the, all the advice. I appreciate it. Come on. Hey y'all, we're just here at Gold's Gym Venice and I ran into a close friend of mine who's been in my life for a long time was my motivation in fitness actually when I was starting in the fitness cover modeling. Sebastian Siegel was the man, still is the man. Uh, I just remember getting into the business, you were on all the covers and I was like, man, if I could just be on the inside of these magazines, it would just floor me. And to be able to grace covers with this guy is just amazing and he's still phenomenal shape. Such a kind so, gentleman and then you know, I, I took a break and I went to Hawaii for one month and I came back and I looked at the magazine rack and he was on James was on every single one and I thought that's it you know we want to ask this guy some tips like how you got into things like that because this guy right here only 15 years old trying to get on the covers what would you say to motivate this guy uh, in that in that realm how can he do this I think I think like for you and also for you and I think already you want it it's just having fun uh, this guy's having so much fun. I see you guys come out here always with the spirit of collaboration. Because ultimately, it, it's important the way that you're training and the way that you look. That's never going to last because that's just coming from the vanity, from the perspective of the look. Ultimately, you have to love what you're doing. If you love it, you're always going to do one more set. If you're having fun in the gym with your friends, you're always going to push it a little hard. You carry the spirit of this guy like when we first met. He's like, hey, what's happening? It's good. It hurts good. You know, and the same thing like with the business you create. You know I, mean? I love what I do. And it's true. It's never work. And extra sets, the extra hours. It's amazing. You're so inspiring to me, to all of us. So thank you so much for the work that you've done in the business. We're watching this guy now. He and I are retired. <laughs> we're going to go hang out at his ranch in Hawaii. And we're going to watch this young man take it. Come on. Love it, man. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Look at this kid, eh? Come on. Nice ride. Good. Let's go. Good. Nice. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, buddy. Do one more nice and slow. Nice and slow down. Nice and slow. Up. Nice. When you're training the peak, a great flex is this one right here. That's a good peak flex. Now we also do that 10, 15 seconds, whatever it may be. But we also train the hammer. So whenever I train hammer, I flex like that. So now I'm flexing the hammer rather than palms being up, hammer flex. Or you can even do it up here. But it's all in the way your wrist is, for, uh, is facing. Woo! Yeah, let's not make a spectacle of it, okay, people? fortunate and blessed. I mean, we're at gold, so obviously we're gonna run into some huge, famous people. We ran into Simeon Panda. That's and good, this guys. man, holy smokes, if you don't know who this is, I don't know what rock you just climbed out from underneath. <laughs> but this guy's on the cover of everything. Everybody talks about this guy nonstop. When you hear his accent, you're gonna know exactly why. This freaking stud. So, uh, we're here to tell Riley how is Riley gonna land his first cover. And we wanted to ask the guy who's been on about 17 trillion covers. What advice do you have for this next generation of stud coming up? I mean, visually looking at you now, you look amazing. You know, so um, the main thing I would say is to just listen to your body. You've just started, you're getting good in your foundations. Yeah. Stick with the foundations first. Because obviously, uh, what, what a lot of people, at this stage that we're in, social media is booming. You know, yeah. so there's so much stimulus, you know. Yeah. But the, the thing for the, for, for the young guys I always say is just take the time, perfect the foundations, you know. All the basic lifts, perfect those and stick with those for as long as you, you benefit from them before you start trying to find new exercises and new ways of doing things, yeah. you know. But you're looking amazing already Thank and you. um, you're on your way, man. So what, what accent would you recommend he learns? <laughs> so no, no, too much? He's, he's got the Canadian accent already. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Keep true to what you are. So that's what I would recommend. That's <laughs> Wicked. Thank you. That's sick. Awesome. Great Thanks advice. Wicked. Great advice. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Cool, man. <laughs> shirt's, shirt's coming off, huh? <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.
No, no, no. You want to keep the bar as close to your body as possible so you eliminate that lower back. But you do not injure yourself. You bounce a Woo! quarter off that. Yeah, exactly. I know. Uh, you guys, this is so good. It's fortunate. I wear my uh, glue pants today. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so they're extra glue. Yeah. I, 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 I make sure that I, I, I get that focus. <laughs> I think he's got more size on his quads than both of us. True, eh? Right? Yeah. We're up and up. See him light, he's got bigger quads. He's working on those outside I see that. I like that. Ready? Turned in. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Harder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Good Phenomenal workout. Thank you. Loved training legs with you. Talk to the kid. Give him some advice on how is he going to land his first cover? How is he going to make an imprint in this industry? Um, I, I think, first of all, you've got a great physique already, which is like number one. You need that. you got a great look. It's it's really about your face. That's, yeah. how, that's how this guy gets on all the covers, too. It's just What's that face, you know? <laughs> but it, 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 that, it's the look, first of all. You need a good face because you're selling the whole magazine. Every, every single page in that magazine is, is depending on you. Yeah. You're the cover. It, it's more than that. When you start working with these magazine companies, you build relationships. Nowadays, with social media, that's a big thing. So the more information you're putting out on social media, the more you're doing stuff, like all this YouTube stuff, it's great because the bigger following you have, the more the magazine can trust you. You have to trust what you're selling. You have to trust what you're doing. Just like Magnum, you know, you got the, you get the owner, the president, everything using these supplements and swearing by them so you trust it. And it's the same thing with the magazine. Longevity in this career, you're young. You're young, so it's not gonna be hard for you to land a cover. But if I were you, I would worry about the long game, you know? Yeah, yeah, which which here, a, a lot of people, they, they wanna be on a cover magazine, so they'll do whatever they can. And when you do that, you, know, you take some steroids or whatever it is to get there. One, it doesn't last, and you lose it quickly. And two, you can't stay in this game as long as you can. You know, I've never done steroids, I never want to. I just always looked up to the guys on the covers of magazines because they were the best in their sport. If you want to stay in the game longer, just stay clean and work hard like you do. You know, so I mean, really that's it. Fitness is a movement. The more you're helping others on social media, the more you're helping others achieve their goals as well, the more relevant you are and the bigger impact you can have on everyone. Yeah, yeah that's it, man. It was a pleasure training with you. Yeah, Marcus, sure thanks for having me out yeah. here. Shake it softly, oh, yeah. cut that broken hand still. <laughs> I'll give you a yeah, so, if you're broke. Yeah, up. right? Yeah, thanks for all the Yeah, thank you guys for watching me. I'll eat ice cream here and there. Sure. If I go out to eat, I'm not going to be picky with what's up. It's like about the menu, it's a good meal. Yep. So, I'm home, I'm making my meal. I enjoy my meal. My breakfast, I prefer egg whites and oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. If someone asked me for an important photo shoot, I need to get, you know I can get ready in three weeks. If I start drifting past that, I'm out of My ass is just being lazy. You know what I mean? I think three weeks is really good. Sometimes I'm real motivated, you know, it'll take me a week and a half. You know what I mean? Three days, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> three yeah. hours. Three hours. It's with bigger legs than me. It's like, you know, all this is here. So when it flexes, it looks nice with the feathers, but then there's no detail. All my detail comes from up here, and it looks twice the size. You admit the other two? Like the very all top of it? All the how it like separates here Whoa. and here. All that detail. Or it's like, all well, mine is like... Yeah. So when you're on, on stage, it looks like you're not conditioned, because this is like such a contract where it's dance, but then you don't have any deep separations up here. The outer sweep and just up top by the hip flexors. All the way up here. And how did you say you did that again? You put the seat all the way back, and you keep your butt up. You push it against there, and you pull. Not here. I'll show you the next step. Yeah. Huge difference. It's all about games versus uh, risk. You know what I mean? The deficit. 
okay, cool, you can do that for a while, but I guarantee you it's gonna catch up. You might be genetically more strong. Well, I do that all the time. I've never been hurt and I'm 50 years old. Well, good, you were genetically gifted, but for 99% of the other people, you're gonna regret it later on. Would you mind giving my young 15-year-old stud here a few of the, the key things you would suggest he focuses in on if he wants to get the most out of his body for a full career? So this isn't just about let's get him on stage, let's get him winning instantly, but to give him the best long career that you know this kid should have. It's just about balance. You go so much further with balance. You worry about balance and not size, you're gonna beat the guys with the size every single time because you're gonna expose their weaknesses. Love that. That's how I do it. You know, I tried playing the size game, it wasn't working. Unless you're just naturally like a mass monster, your best game is to really stick with your symmetry and quality. It's, it's everything. I mean, look, if someone says, oh, I'll give you 30 pounds overnight, Danny, I would say, I don't want it unless I could choose where I want to put it. You know what I mean? And that's the thing you have to be conscious of. It's not just about gaining weight. So when I start gaining weight, I'm like, I have to assess myself. Oh, okay. So my chest is getting big, but guess what? Now my shoulders look more slumpy. I have to like balance it out. Or else it's just gonna expose your weaker parts. And I always start on your weaker parts. I'm in the happy place, Gilly. I'm in the happy place finally! I knew you were going I knew you were <laughs> Oh my god. I saw you struggling to find me off this machine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll play. Oh no. Oh. Come on, did you want more like cookies? I'm good, thanks bro.